area in particular, there's a subtle color change. This is nervous tissue. My enteric plexus is right there. My enteric plexus. So sometimes you'll see that, sometimes you won't. Depends on the slide. It's really pale. It's hard to see. There's kind of a little triangular area right here where I can make out a bit of my enteric plexus. You'll find those kind of scattered throughout wherever it's been. Yeah, they're kind of random. So there's our four basic layers. If we come back out to the mucosal layer, this layer, this stuff out here, in addition to the very large plicus circularis, which throw the entire mucosa into these big folds, we'll have smaller structures called villi. Now that's what these, what appears to be debris hanging out out there are. They're little finger-like projections. That's what all these things are as well. They extend off of the mucosa towards the lumen. Now in your book, they'll show you a textbook perfect depiction of the mucosal layer with finger-like villi sticking up in a nice row down the length of that area. Well, these villi are soft structures. They're very soft. So they fall over and they get folded and they get bent. Imagine if your fingers are villi sticking up in the small intestine and the blade comes through and cuts them in this plane. Then you see them down their length, right? But imagine if your fingers are like this and the blade comes through and chops them. Then you see things like this and this and what appears to be junk hanging out in space. Those villi are attached. We're just not seeing the attachment points out there. They are either going out of the screen or into the screen and then coming back to the rest of the mucosa and attaching. So we could track this. This might be coming out this way and then attaching here like this. Or it might be going through the screen and coming up underneath to attach to the rest of this stuff. So these big villi stick out into the lumen to increase surface area for absorption. That's the function of the plica as well, to increase surface area for uh, an increased ability to absorb food molecules across the intestinal epithelium. The lion's share of molecules absorbed occur in the small intestine. So anything that can be done to increase surface area increases that efficiency to get that absorption done. Now in contrast, in the stomach, the plica circularis, although they look structurally similar, they're not there to increase surface area for absorption. Rather, they act like pleats so that as you eat food, your stomach can expand to accommodate that mass of food.